Hey, Julia. Julia? Julia? There's someone here to see you. Hey, Grandma. Hello. It's, it's Robert. It's nice to meet you, Robert. Is she showing any signs of improvement? Yes, she's doing quite well, actually. Well, I guess this concludes my visit. How much do you know about this facility, Robert? You treat dementia. Do you know why your parents chose this facility? Because they don't want to deal with it anymore. No. No, no, we, we are on the cutting edge. The treatment we use here is unlike anything in any other facility in the world. How much do you know about virtual reality? You make them play video games? Well, it's a little more complicated than that. We call it immersive reminiscence therapy. We draw from our patients' existing memories in an attempt to recreate their past. And we hope by having them relive these moments, we can reestablish lost connections in the brain and treat depression. Recreate their past? Yes. Through virtual reality? Yes. If it's anything like the VR I've seen, I doubt that. The technology we have here is decades ahead of anything in the consumer market. I'd like to show you something we've been working on. Are you ready? Yeah. Beginning simulation.
Hey, uh, what year is it? <laughs> Man, I'd offer you some, but I think you're good. Yeah, I think I'm good. But seriously. Seriously what? What year is it? 1969, last I checked. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hey, uh, Julia? Do I know you? Uh, yeah, um, we went to high school together. Really? When did you make it to California? California? You really are tripping, huh? Yeah, I'm, I must be. Do your, do your parents know that you're out here? Nope. You? No. Do you miss them? This must be your first time, huh? What? Your first time tripping. Yeah. <laughs> well, to answer your question, no. What about you? Kinda. We just we're very close. I miss my grandparents more. Never knew mine. Really? I I didn't know that. Why would you have known that? Uh we talked a few times back in school. You, you must just not remember. I remember you, though. Oh, yeah? I remember that you're left-handed. And <laughs> that you love the monkeys. That's right. And that your favorite food is spaghetti. Since when? Uh, well, I guess not yet. Seems like you don't know me as well as you thought you did. You're right about that. Hey, you ready to go? What's your name? Robert. It was nice talking to you, Robert. I don't understand. This can't be possible. Most people form their strongest memories between the ages of 10 and 30. As you know, a patient with Alzheimer's may be able to strongly remember their 12th birthday, but not what they had for breakfast this morning. We begin by having the patients recall their most vivid memories. We then perform brain scans and translate the scan data into high quality audio and visual elements. We then use these elements to create virtual environments. 
With these environments, we hope to elicit further memories to reappear, as well as provide comfort and combat depression. But that wasn't just a memory. I, I talked to her. You spoke to an artificial intelligence intended to reconstruct the speech patterns and the personality traits that we retrieved from her memories. So that wasn't really her? We haven't unlocked real time travel yet. This technology is more experimental. We are more concerned with exact memory reconstruction. For what? So you can charge people to live in the past? So we can help them, Robert. We choose how we let the past define us. It can bring us comfort, or it can bring us pain. The important thing is that we use the past to help make sense of the present. Hi, Julia. It's Robert. Oh. I'm sorry, if I knew to expect company, I would have tidied up. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just happy to see you.